Hi everyone, welcome to my Core 2 OCR June 2008 paper. We're going to look at question 7. So you can see this question is about integration and the first question looks pretty tricky. But remember, before you can integrate in Core 2, what you need to do is have x to a power, say p, and number in front as well. So that is the form we want it in before we can integrate. So to get this in the same form, you can expand out your bracket with your basic algebra skills. So what we're actually trying to find is the integral of x to the power of 5, take away x to the power of 4, plus 5 x to the power of 3 dx. Once you have the integration in this form, it's quite straightforward. We're integrating, you increase the power by 1 and you divide by the new power. So the opposite of differentiating. So we get x to the power of 6 over 6. Take away x to the power of 5 over 5 plus 5 x to the power of 4 over 4. And do not forget plus c, because there could have been a constant, and if it was differentiated, it would have disappeared, as you well know. Moving on to part b, we have to integrate 18 x to minus 4 dx. It's exactly the same technique as we've just looked at. So we add 1 to the power. Now be careful, minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3. So you get 18 x to minus 3 divided by minus 3. When we divide by a negative, we get a negative, so we can put it there. And we need a plus c because we're not integrating between limits. Now 18 over 3 gives us 6, so our answer is minus 6 x to minus 3 plus c. Now the part 2 follows on from this. The only difference is we have limits. And you notice that our upper limit is infinity. So if you imagine your graph going on forever, you want to sum up the area, you want to find the area beneath the curve that goes on forever. So let's think about how we're going to do this. Infinity is not a number, so you cannot use this in your normal maths equations. What you need to do instead is pick a value that you can work with, say value k, and say that k is getting so big, it's going to infinity. Now, as a number can never actually reach infinity, we need to use some notation that says the limit as k goes to infinity. And that is how you write it. So now everywhere we're going to have infinity, we can use k instead. And we are integrating 18 x to minus 4 dx. Now, notice in part 1, we've already solved this integral. Don't give yourself extra work. You just need this part of the answer without the plus c. Only difference here is I'm going to write it as 6 over x cubed because that's what the negative power does. So we've got the limit as k goes to infinity of minus 6 over x cubed and we need to evaluate between k and 2. So on our next line the first bracket with our upper limit is going to be minus 6 over k cubed. And our second bracket is going to be minus 6 over 2. Now think about the first bracket. You've got a number, minus 6, divided by a number cubed, and the number k is getting so big it's going closer and closer to the infinite. Now, if you divide anything by a huge, huge number, it's going to get smaller and smaller. 
and in maths we say it gets so small it's actually going to tend to zero so it's effectively going to disappear which means for our answer we get minus minus 6 over 2 well 6 over 2 is 3 and a minus and a minus makes a plus so your answer for that question is 3 I hope this makes sense any questions you can almost always comment on my video and ask I'll be happy to answer those